It's not that bad, guys. It's not that bad. It's just not that good either. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Finally seen it. Finally seen it. New Mutants. So here's my review, guys. It's going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to go too lengthy. It's going to... I'm not going to be spoilery either. I'm surprised I didn't get spoiled by this movie since it's already been out there for a while. Because even though it's got delayed, delayed, and delayed, I mean, this thing was this thing was filmed in 2017, three years ago. That's what's so crazy about this. And I'm sure the cast was wondering what was happening with it too. And uh, I think I did a video when Anya Taylor Joy was asked about it, and her face when she <laughs> when she uh, answered that it was actually pretty priceless. You should try to find that on the channel. It's pretty uh, it's pretty good. But uh, yes, finally saw New Mutants. I know some people saw it in the movie theater that you know earlier this summer because it it came out around when Tenet came out. But I only saw Tenet out in the movie theaters. Didn't see this. Kind of wish I did, but um, yeah, like I said, spoilers not really going to be a happening. And you guys saw my first reaction review when it came to this. It was just like, there's a good movie in here somewhere. And is it me or is it because Simon Kinberg just needs to walk away from some of this stuff? I don't know if it's all him, but it's probably some him. And it's just like, geez, what is going on here? But you guys know the story. You have, uh, you have Danny Moonstar played by Blue Hunt. That's an interesting name. She wakes up. Uh, after something happens in the beginning, which was really dark. I don't know about you guys, but the opening scene, I'm like, what the fuck's going on there? I can't, I can't. can't I'm like, should I shut off all my lights? Because I really can't see what's going on. Um, which I found was like, yeah, there's certain times where things felt a little too dark. But, you know, maybe that's what uh, Josh Boone was going for. And power to Josh Boone. I know he's doing the David Ayer thing right now where he's saying, this is the movie I, I planned, guys. I This is the movie I wanted out there. Bullshit, Mr. Boone. We get it. We know it. we've been down this road before. First time? Yeah, it's okay. Hopefully, maybe we'll see a version of your movie, but I don't think people are going to care too much, even though there is a uniqueness to this movie that I'll get to. But uh, you guys know, so we have like, uh, I, what? Uh, how many, how many, uh, how many characters? We have five, right? We have five characters all with like different little powers and they're basically in this asylum type place or, you know, it's not even really that much. It's just kind of like a, a, a children's hospital, but it's for teenagers uh, for, you know, with powers, you know, when you hit puberty, that's really when the mutant gene really starts kicking in. So it's like, well, you got this doctor that's right, like held everybody captive and it's kind of interesting how she does. I actually thought it was pretty cool how she, she, she keeps them all in check. But, uh, so they're all here, and as soon as, um, um, what's her name, <laughs> Danny, Danny Moonstar shows up, all of a sudden this weird little stuff starts happening with all the characters. They start seeing things, having these visions, like almost a haunting aspect to it, which we knew when we saw that first trailer, that there was going to be a horror element in this thing. And the bad part about that, guys, is there is, and there's sometimes where it's like, oh, this is pretty cool, but they don't, they don't hit it. They don't hit it hard. They just like they could have just went full force and it seemed like they were. And I think that's what Josh Boone's intention was at first. But it just seemed like, uh, I don't know. There's times where it's just like, what is happening now? It's just like everybody's hat. What? Ah, come on. Can we get back to? Uh, OK, but, you know, whatever. Um, and and it, I don't know. It's just interesting. And I, I, I did like some of the chemistry that was going on between. Um, between the main character, which was uh, Danny, and then you got this uh, one called Rain Sinclair, where she could like turn into like a, basically like a, a wolf-like creature. This is very interesting and stuff. Um, and then Anya Ta Taylor Joy, you guys know I'm a huge fan of her with those those big beautiful eyes of hers. Uh, her character's you know kind of a piece of shit, you know Rasputin. She's uh, she riles everybody up, but at the same time, I don't know. It's like they didn't know really what to do with her character too. Not to mention her uh, her accent. A couple times it, it it it's not there, but mainly it is there. But you know she has the badass sword and she can go into that little uh, limbo um, part uh, to basically you know it's almost like a portal thing. She has a really cool sequence that happens in a staircase, which I I will say that that was pretty badass. But overall, I'm like, all right, there's like this whole other aspect of it with this thing that's haunting her, but they, it just didn't get. Like I said, they didn't go full force. And not to mention the whole big twist of the whole thing is very easy to spot, like almost right away. I mean, it's like almost right away that this thing gets spot. And yeah, it's just, it's short. It's super short. All of a sudden you're on the final act and it's kind of like, all right, I don't really 
didn't really do it for me because these characters, I don't even know exactly. Yes, they have backgrounds and they they kind of tap into that a little bit, but it just felt like it just dis, it was just boom, boom, boom. Let's get to this big, huge thing at the end This uh, that we're going to have that we were keeping hidden from the trailers at first. But I thought intrigued me when I found out that there's like this crazy, you know, visual effects type final act. I was kind of like, OK, looking forward to that, especially if it has to do with uh, a certain character. And I was like, OK, but but at the same time, I was like, all right. Um, interesting. All right. Um, I like the fact that it's unique in the fact that it doesn't really feel like an X-Men movie, but it feels too much a YA movie at times, a young adult movie, uh, which I know Boone, I guess he's directed uh, those before, but, uh, it does really appear in that. And I guess maybe that's what he was going for. I was kind of like, eh, cause when it gets to YA, I'm like, I kind of ch checked out like, Hey, it's not for that. Nah, nah, it's just for the cheese, cheese, you know? And, um, but like I said, the horror elements seem like they're there. I just wish they were hit full force, but that didn't seem to be the case. But overall guys, like I said, it's not bad, but there is a, I think there's a better movie. There's a good movie in there. Like I said, it's kind of like fan four stick in that way where it just seems like you could see like maybe some fuckery was happening and they just didn't know what to do with this movie. And maybe they didn't get to all the reshooting. There was also that possibility. And that's why the movie's short because they're like, ah, omit that, omit that, omit that. Uh, I mean, there, of course, is mention of the X-Men in the movie. You can't not, you know, not mention the X-Men when you're dealing with a New Mutants movie. But it's just like the Katane story would really work, but it's just I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because it was too YA for me at times and not enough horror. And it just was like, boom, all of a sudden we're done. We're done here. So, you know, everybody walk away or whatever. And some cliches were also in there, but I don't know. Yeah. There's just a good movie in here somewhere, but it's not terrible. You know, it's really not that it's not horrible. It's really not horrible at all. Like a lot of people were just trashing this movie saying it was like super horrible. And I'm like, it's really not that bad. I'm. It's actually, it's watchable. It's watchable, but frustrating to me at times. So there you go, guys. That's my review of New Mutants. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing this stuff. Follow me in the sock meds down there, your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and then, of course, Patreon if you want to join the Film Junkie Patreon. And, of course, merchandise down below. All right, guys? Talk to you later.